Hello. Uh, another day. And uh, I did take the cutter out and put it on the lathe and uh, relieved the diameter at the point where it was it was just touching. Um, there was contact there. So I did that and um, uh, I'm now doing the the other side of the dovetail and uh, I've got my z-axis zeroed so that it'll be the same as this side. Um, I've taken a couple of cuts. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've taken uh, the first cut I did was after um, uh, setting my bottom Z uh, axis on this face here, on this ledge, on the bottom of the dovetail. And uh, you probably can't see it very well. Um, maybe if I get a lamp, some light down there, you may, you may be able to see it. It's just here. And I went in about, um, oh, I guess about 80 thou. I took 20 thou cuts. Um, and then uh, it started getting uh, kind of heavy. So um, I then moved the z-axis up and took a cut up. Uh, I moved it up 0.2 in height and uh, touched on the surface and came in and I've actually got my my position of the top of the dovetail so that I've got a a very a very slight maybe 20 thou uh, flat surface uh, before the the actual 60 degree goes down um, so I've blackened that I've darkened that now and now I've dropped it down another, oh, about 70 thou. And I'm now going to take another cut along until, <clears throat> until it gets close to the, the black on the dovetail. And then I'll move it down again and come in uh, probably with a final, a final cut in the third stage. Um, it's going quite well. Cut are standing up very well. Um, I only turn the insert around once and I'm still using the second face um, when I finish this side off. So um, uh, it's looking pretty good. So I'll take a few cuts now and you can see uh, how it's going. Um, even with a, a uh, you know, kind of a loud cut. What I m mean is like a, a taking more material off on the on the angle. This um, headstock and the uh, the Z column um, is is really standing quite nice and solid. There's just a little minute bit of vibration coming through the head here. But the, the the column itself is is pretty stable, so um, uh, I I can't say that it's this um, this uh, uh, tapered dowel that I added into the base of the column and the bed the the y axis bed um, to help to keep the column from moving under a cut it seems to be working very well so um, I'll take a few cuts and we'll see if we can finish it off in the time that we have left Put a 20 thou cut on. I think that'll be okay.
to just have the finish kind of mottled. It's got a mottled uh, appearance to it. So this saves a little bit of winding. several cuts here because I'm getting close to that uh, to that marked area. Close. 
pretty good. Okay. I could just drop it down. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Just drop the down. Huh. Yeah, something's gone wrong with my breather. there. I'll switch off now and then I'll come back when I get to the final stages of taking a, um, a blending the whole dovetail in and uh, that mm, that will uh, be when I'm taking a complete cut all the way down the whole depth of the of the carbide insert. Um, and obviously the the um, the sound will change. I'm sure of that. But um, I'll come back when I'm I'm getting to that stage, and uh, and you can see uh, another bit of the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>